So is there a link between PCOS and autism? New research shows that there is, but I'm not in the business of scaremongering. So I'm gonna tell you the top five things I think you need to know and how we can reduce our risk. The first thing is that the research shows that we have about a 40 to 50 percent increased risk of having a child with autism, which seems like a lot. But I want you to know that number two is that the risk is actually super small. So general risk is about 1 percent, and so we're just increasing that to about 2 percent. So don't get too worried. But there is, so the reason for this, the number three thing I need you to know is that the only reason for this, I think, is that because the baby is exposed to increased testosterone in the womb. And what that does is that changes the way that the brain develops in the womb. So my number four thing is I really, really, really advise you or encourage you to seek lifestyle treatment to bring down your testosterone levels before we opt for, say, um, ovulation stimulating drugs. Because they are gonna force you to ovulate when the reason that you're not ovulating is your hormones are out of balance. So there's so many things that we can do with diet and lifestyle to bring your hormones back into balance. And that can get you back ovulating naturally and it can also bring your testosterone down, meaning that we may be reducing the risk of having a child with autism. So the fifth thing is, the, the one thing I would look for next for you is, do you have some insulin resistance or blood glucose which is driving up your testosterone levels? The research shows that 80% of us with PCOS have some blood glucose and insulin resistance, myself included. And that, that is, you know, in combination, helping to increase the amount of testosterone in your body. So that's amazing things we can do to bring that down. So check out the blog for more information, the download I give you there, which is how to bring down your testosterone naturally. <laughs>